Hi, it's Katie Gavalvik here, and today we're gonna to talk about why slowing down to speed up is my number one piece of advice to my clients in the beginning. This is so important. A lot of times we just wanna jump ahead and we actually need to slow down, especially if things aren't flowing, we're not in alignment. And what this really means is we need to look at what is the root cause of what's going on and what is getting down to that subtle and a lot of times we're really focused on the gross. We're focused at that result, that outcome, and I need to take it way down and to look at that subtle, uh, what is that, those first steps that's creating what's going on. And then also looking at strategy and mindset. Mindset's such a big thing. A lot of times we want these goals and we want these things in our life, but what is our mindset? What are our thoughts? How are we setting things up? What's the mind-body connection look like? Your thoughts, emotions, actions, behavior, and words are in alignment. This is clarity, and we really need to have that. And to order to have that, we have to slow down. Also looking at this is really looking at how we define things and the meaning we put on life. And there's certain words and, and our lenses and filters, how we look at things. And so we're, when we're able to slow down, we can kind of see all these things that are going on and maybe we need to expand that filter or lens. I look at it, a lot of times we're like a horse with blinders and we only see that there's one way or this is how it is. So we gotta take off those blinders and kind of see what are all the opportunities and what can we do here. Also, it saves a lot of time. A lot of times if we're just you know thinking that this is the right way, we waste actually a lot of time. And so being able to slow down, you actually are gonna save so much time and then you're gonna be able to speed up because you have the right strategy and you're executing, you're taking action and you're doing follow through. So these are just a few things. I think another element here is making sure that you have a commitment involved. So once you've done you know, more in depth process with goal setting or intentions, really making sure that you're 100% committed and seeing you know, if you're not, what, what needs to shift. Also learning basics. So a lot of times when we want this growth or this result or outcome, we really have to learn basics and really have a solid foundation. And so really working on that, the, the more solid foundation we have, you know, the easier that we're, it's going to be to build the house and to have deeper roots so that we can fully express and fully experience. So these are just a few things to think about and um, there's more here and I just wanted to share it with you. So if you have a comment, leave a comment below. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.